In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving long division of polynomials with the Casio scientific calculator in second to multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, I guarantee you that you will be able to solve problems involving long division of polynomials with the Casio FS CG50 calculator in second for multiple choice questions. So, ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video. We are going to learn a lot, guys. Okay, having known that, let's get the Casio calculator and get into the details of this video all right so this is Casio fscg50 calculator now the very first thing you have to do will be to reset the calculator the essential thing this is to wipe out whatever previous value might have stored on the calculator so to quickly reset it or clear it all you have to do is to navigate to system using this navigation box so when you get a press it includes all right it includes for this calculator stands for equal to then when you get a press F5 for reset, then press F6 for next page, and lastly press F2 to initialize or 1 to initialize or you press F1 for it, and it will begin to initialize or as indicated here, okay? So it's initializing all, so we have these questions, long division of polynomials, we do it with the Casio calculator is done, presses it, okay? Now, the question says find the remainder upon division of the following polynomials all right now to find the remainder of these various polynomials we have here beginning with question one the idea is to this divisor that is dividing this dividend we have here divisor here is s minus four you equate it to zero okay so this will be x minus four equals was zero all right now to make x the solid formula here, this for we call the equality sign, I'm going to have x equals was 4. Now, this value of x we have, which is 4, we're going to store it on the calculator. To do that, under this one matrix, press the quits. Okay, so we want to store 4 as x, press 4, press as a quits. Then to store it, press this arrow button, then press alpha and this plus button, that where x is. Once you press the quits, and it will indicate that 4 has been stored as x on this calculator so let's delete everything now to find the remainder all you have to do will be to impute this polynomial exactly as we have it here or it's going to be 2x square after x okay square minus 7x after x okay we have minus 4 and that's all let's press is a good now to get our result or value zero that means the remainder of this polynomial is one zero there are something like that guys so let's delete everything here and solve question two so question two says we are giving this polynomial all right we are dividing it with this value so this is the device so s square minus four as usual you equate this device so s square minus four equals zero Alright, so this 4 we call the equality sign. So I'm going to have x squared equals 4. Now, to make x the solid formula, you find the square root of both sides. Alright, so you square both sides. This square, we count the square roots. And the square root of 4 will give us what? Plus or minus 2. Alright, so we, we go with the positive value, which is 2. Alright, now we are going to store 2 as x on this calculator. Alright, so to do that, you reset it to remove the previous value we stored. So we go to menu, right? Go to system. Very important, guys, to avoid unnecessary error. Then press F5 for it, F6, F2. F1. Alright, so we're going to reset. So once it's done, we're going to store this value 2 as x on the calculator and use it to solve for the remainder of one division of this polynomial is done. Press the reset button. Okay, so right now we're going to store 2 on this calculator and find the remainder of one division of the polynomial. Okay, then press another one make press the quits, then press 2. Is it puts now? Where is our button? Alpha 
x it is includes right is done now let's delete everything here okay so let's impute the polynomial we have it to be 2 x alpha x q make use of the power function okay it's as simple as that guys then we have minus x square alpha x square then minus 8x alpha x and plus 4 and that's all for this question let's put the good and get our results of value 0 the remainder is still was 0 for question 2 it's as simple as that guys and last let's solve this question 3 okay so let's do separate thing here very, very simple guys so they are following okay now let's school of so that we have space to solve okay this in this question three this device of 4x minus 5 is divided this polynomial the dividend as usual this 4x minus 5 you equate it to zero then this minus 5 call over the quality so i'm going to have it to be 5 okay now to make s the solid formula you divide both sides by four here this for cancel is safe therefore the x will now be what five over four so it's as simple as that guys now let's start this value five over four on this calculator as usual we're going to reset everything here to remove the previous value we start very very important guys to avoid unnecessary error then press f5 f6 initialize or f1 okay so it's beginning to initialize or we're going to store this value 5 over 4 on this calculator okay so once it's done we do it as soon as that guys right it's done is it now first is a good on this one make this then the value 5 over 4 store it as x is equal to then our bottom alpha x is equal to all right installed delete everything now let's impute the polynomial value to be 8x cube alpha s cube make it the power function if we come down we have plus 2x alpha x square minus 3x plus 2 that's all going to the good 17 so the remainder of this polynomial is what 17 is as simple as that guys so this is basically how you can solve problems involving long division of polynomials fast in circles for more choice space i hope you learned something interesting from this video if you are new to the channel share the subscribe button now to subscribe to the channel more videos like this, hit the like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel and what you learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask, feel free to be placed in the comment section below and I'll be sure to give you a response. That's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to receive the calculator once you're done. All you have to do is press menu, then navigate to system executes. Okay, then press F5, then F6 for next page initialize or f1 and that's it you begin to initialize all okay we are good to do guys let's call it a class here I'll see you in my subsequent video okay let's pay for it is it person yeah thanks for watching